Hi everyone, Mike Smell here, Product Manager for SimStudio Tools. In this video, I'd like to talk to you about simplifying CAD geometry for simulation, specifically focusing on removing complex features. So here we are inside of SimStudio Tools, and in this example, uh, we're going to talk about removing small or complex features from our geometry, and this CAD assembly shows it quite well. You can see we have a number of components in the model that still have things like part numbers, and model numbers and information about the specific component. This level of detail, which is typically required for our manufacturing level of detail or our bill of materials or potentially we're getting these parts in from suppliers, uh, this isn't going to be a necessary level of detail for simulation purposes. SimStudio Tools is going to give you tools that will make it very easy to remove these complex small features from your geometry as well as other tools to come in and do bulk simplifications to uh, a CAD assembly to prepare it for simulation. So what we'll do is take a look at the remove features command and I think that this command is probably the best suited for handling things like part numbers and small, fill small cosmetic fillets on different parts in the model. Now the one thing that I will point out is we have the ability to come in and select the entire assembly. But that probably doesn't make a lot of sense for, for most purposes because you know as you go around or go through the process of simplifying this geometry for simulation, you may use other tools inside of SimStudio to come in and select and remove a bunch of small parts as we'll be highlighting in another SimStudio Tools video. We have the ability to replace components with base primitives that will allow us to account for their mass and shape. Um, so we may go through a number of those procedures before we get to the place where we're going to come in and potentially look at removing small features from a given component. So in this scenario, I've went ahead and selected a component here on the model that has some fillets, that has the part numbers, and you'll notice that in the remove features command I have a slider that will allow me to go pick smaller features and start to pick larger features. So as we move the slider to the right we'll start to pick specific features from this geometry um, that we can remove. You'll also notice that as we move that slider uh, depending on the overall size of the part it's going to pick various different parts of that geometry. Now potentially you know we have the ability then to come in and deselect certain things. So maybe we don't want to take the extrude. Maybe we don't want to take any chamfers. Potentially we don't want to take any holes or fillets or revolve. So we can toggle through and, and make uh, selections based on what it is that we want to remove. So the first thing you know, we, and you may find that in, in this scenario we need, may need to approach this um, in a multi-step approach. So first you'll see that I'm detecting the text and we know that we want to get rid of that text so I'll simply come in and delete that text and that's removed. Now I can select this same body again and adjust my slider and we'll see that it's struggling to whoop, pick it here and I can adjust this sl slider again and see what it starts to, to pick up. So not until the feature size is very large does it capture the fillets. So if I were, were interested in handling and removing the fillets on this body, I can approach that in two different ways. So I can uncheck all the features and select only fillets and adjust the slider appropriately or if I were doing this and you know I, were, I still wanted to potentially remove the part numbers which we have already done uh, we could not only select the body but then we could pick specific features off the model so I'll show that on another component but you know let's go in here we've and, and see how this works we've we've limited our feature recognition and removal set to fillets only we've adjusted the slider to pick the two fillets so we can go ahead and delete those and you'll notice now that we've simplified that component. So we'll take a look at one more part here where we can look at 
using both the overall automatic feature recognition as well as selecting manual features. So here we'll go for the capacitor. We'll take a look at that same, same process. We'll adjust the feature size to make sure that we capture all of the part numbers. But potentially we also want to remove some of those fillets. So rather than you know, move the slider too far and risk getting in some other geometry that maybe we don't want to remove, we'll simply choose the, the manual feature selection and we'll pick those fillets and we'll see there that I've grabbed too much so if you do that you can just click the X reselect choose delete so we've removed the part numbers and we've removed the fillets and because these two are essentially duplicates they're the same occurrence we've simplified both components so Sim Studio Tools has the intelligence to recognize where there's multiple instances of the same component in an assembly to essentially allow you to speed up the simplification process. So with, with the Remove Features tool, it, we make it very easy for users to go through and take off small um, complex features from their geometry before moving to simulation. I hope that you take the time to leverage this tool in your simulation workflow. Um, thanks for watching, and we look forward to having you uh, join us in another video on SimStudio Tools.